Greene County Fire Department is working to keep homes and businesses up to date on current trends and response times. Chris Bryan spoke with the Battlefield Fire Protection District about when the community will be able to access that information. By doing a community risk assessment, we get a detailed view of our actual district, of our citizens, of the homes they live in, the businesses they have, and the, the individual problems they have. Battlefield firefighters are wrapping up work on a new website for their community risk assessment, safety messages, and future needs. So for instance, we're in the process of uh, looking at another station and we look at all of our response data to find the area that, that uh, is receiving uh, or, or gets serviced in the highest amount of time. On the response section, you can see the coverage area for each fire station and get a breakdown of the number of calls, the types of calls, and when those are likely to happen. And we look at that and say this is the area where we need to have a fire station so we can reduce our response times. There's also a detailed look at the demographics and at-risk population in Battlefield Service Area. With the community risk assessment, we can literally uh, go down to the, 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 home, uh, the, the homeowners association level or the block level and, and determine what are the actual needs for this neighborhood. And then we can, sp we can offer specific types of interventions or public education that could address them. So, for example, maybe an HOA has a higher than average number of cardiac arrests or maybe they're having an issue with um, pool safety. Maybe they've had a, uh, a near drowning or something like that. And so we can offer those specific types of education or, or specific resources resources to them. Even giving the department and community a chance to see when and where emergencies occur. Yes, everything from uh, the time of year to time of the day to what day of the week do we see more so we can really target in specifically on areas and times and dates that we're having specific issues. Perfect. Rollout for the new website is scheduled for October 28th. Chris Bryant, KY3 News.